kitchen, my daughter will be doing a pasta. Uh, we are going to make a creamy mushroom sauce uh, fettuccine pasta with truffle and uh, truffle butter and um, some bacon. So this is pasta, this is the fettuccine pasta, these are ready made. You can also make fresh pasta if you like. Uh, this is the portobello mushrooms, garlic, cloves, um, parsley, olive oil, salt and pepper, truffle butter, parmesan cheese, cooking cream and bake. I have kept a pot of water, 4 cups of water along with a teaspoon of salt and uh, a teaspoon of oil. I am going to add the fettuccine into it and then cook the pasta as well. So we have added the pasta there and allowing it to cook for 10 minutes and then drain it out into and keep it out. Uh, we kept a pan there, we're going to add a few, uh, piece of uh, garlic butter there and, uh, and we're going to uh, saute the bacon from uh, in that stove and then take it out. Yeah. Cooking it very well. Our uh, fettuccine was uh, cooking very well for the last 10 minutes and now I have drained it out and then I have added cold water on top of it so that it stops its process of cooking and then I have added a tablespoon of the oil and I have kept the fettuccine to drain out. The fettuccine is ready here. Bacon is done, we are going to remove the bacon from the pan. Keep it aside. We're putting the heat on and again we are adding about one tablespoon of the olive oil and to it we're going to add the garlic we have crushed and kept. Four pieces of the garlic we crushed, allowing the garlic nicely get mixed with the olive oil. Yeah. Add the mushroom in, the portobello mushroom and we're going to toss the mushroom well. I'm going to season this with some salt and pepper so that the mushroom gets a little flavor. Alright, mix it well. Now uh, the mushroom is, is almost done like, so now what we are going to do is we are just topping up with the bacon we had cooked and kept. And then just mixing it and then we are going to off it and keep the flame there. Now. Uh, If you see in this pan here, we've added one tablespoon of the truffle butter to it and uh, the heat is on here. To it now we're going to add about a um, quarter cup of the cooking cream. We're going to add in the quarter cup of the cream, cooking cream. We are adding the parmesan grated. We are adding about uh, 2 to 3 tablespoons of the grated parmesan cheese. We add a little bit of the parsley there and giving it a good mix. We just reserved a bit for the garnish. Other than that, we have added the entire parsley there. And I have we have reserved about a quarter cup of the uh, water which we had generated from boiling the uh, pasta the same we will be adding it after we add the pasta if we need the sauce is less then we need to add that water then we are going to give a good mix ok a quarter cup of the boiled water along with that we are going to add in all the uh, Mushroom. Okay. Give it a good mix. Uh, there was enough salt in the uh, fettuccine when we cooked the fettuccine. We had added the salt that time, and also the bacon, mushroom, everything we had seasoned with the salt and pepper. So our uh, pasta seems to be having enough salt, and then it's perfect just right for it. So all we did was we wanted a little bit of a pepper so we just added that. Now uh, if you want the sauce to be more creamy you can add more of the cooking cream or uh, more of the water 
but uh, in my case I am feeling this is enough for us. I am not going to add anything more because it's more creamy and nice. We are almost done. If you want you can add some more uh, parsley or you want some more cheese. If you are a cheese lover when you are serving it onto your plate you can add more of cheese there and garnish it with more of the parsley. So we are going to go off. We are done with the cooking and we are ready to go for plating. Thank you for watching. We did the creamy fettuccine with portobello mushrooms. Now, uh, if you have seen, we had very few ingredients, and but it is very delicious because the truffle butter makes a lot of difference for this uh, pasta and uh, very tasty. Add up the spice as much as you want with your pepper powder, what you have, and I'm sure really going to taste uh, and uh, really going to enjoy this recipe. Thank you for watching me here. And happy cooking and happy eating.